For fuck's sake, Bill, where are you? Do y'all know that you don't have to be invited into a home if it's owned by a vampire? Well, now you do. Once again, helpful things to know before it's too late and there's a head in your face. A dead head. So what other vampire loopholes are out there? I've played my fair share of light as a feather, stiff as a board. I can handle it. I want to know some tricks of the trade, scare the shit out of some teenage girl just because I can. Truth is, it is scary. And boring, as all hell. But I'm just stuck in this big old house, and the only sounds are the walls creaking and my stomach rumbling, and I keep bumping in my thoughts. When I was back at my parents, I wanted to get away from them so badly. I wanted to be out on my own and make my own rules and stop having to practice the stupid clarinet all the time. I mean, how many fucking times can you play hot cross buns without going mad? I'm not saying that I miss him. But Hoyt was starting to feel like family. It's kind of like starting all over again. You ever feel that way? Like you just turned yesterday? It's all big and new and dark and you lack it, but you're not quite sure what to do with yourself. I guess it's gonna be dawn soon. What I should do with myself is get to bed. Till next time.